Hello guys, I am back from another video and today we talk about what if Belle had a symbiote? And also, I'm really sorry about last episode's audio sounding like complete dog shit, so... Yeah, let me explain what happened last episode and also clear up some things. So, in the last video we talked about how after Belle was in the dungeon with the rest of his brand new party, including Makoto herself, it turns out that Belle leveled up to now level 8. Which is pretty high for a normal adventurer. Like, nobody, nobody has ever gone to level 8. Unless if they're at their deathbed, at least. So, as everybody's at the bar, they get approached by some kid from the Apollo Familia, which he was basically trying to taunt them until he decides to try and taunt him on his goddess, which... He basically beats him to a pulp, or almost beats him to a pulp, because everybody doesn't want to have another fight in here, because after that incident, no thanks. <laughs> so, when Hyacinthus, being the, the captain of the Apollo Familia, comes in and basically tries to fight him, let's just say his face is now ruined. He gets a scar on his face after that, as they start moving away, as after that, they were told by... Um, I think her name was Cassandra and... Let me check. Cassandra and Daphne. That they're invited to a familiar party with the rest of the familias there. As when they made it there, they're basically um, just like celebrating, just most, mostly drinking and eating. Until Apollo himself arrives, as he will tell Belle that if he joins the Apollo familia, he would get power greater than anything else but he would rather just stay with his goddess. But they decided on a little game, a war game to be more precise. But both Hestia and him decided to, like, to decline. So after that, they basically started leaving the party. So just like in canon, things happened. Specifically, the Apollo Familia starts attacking their, like, um, like, the original familia base being the Broken Down Church, which was an instant bad idea because almost all of them were slaughtered thanks to Bell. Like, let's just say, um, all black is now all red. <laughs> so, as for the rest of the, um, uh, other familia, specifically to the Takamichizuchi familia, which was helping in the escape of, like, Hestia and the others... Well, Lily was captured by... What's his name? His name was Zenith, as he basically tells Lily to go back to the Soma Familia to, and I quote, for disturbing the rest of the other familias. So, after she applied, or complied, well, let's just say when Belle was told of this, let's just say he was pissed. And also... When they were brought towards the, um, the familiar house or the mansion of, like, Apollo, they accept the, well, deal of fighting or joining this, well, war game. So, after that, a bit of shenanigans came out, just mostly, like, um, you know, I don't know, like, literally destroying almost half of the, um, Soma Familia by basically murdering them to save Lily. <laughs> So, yeah, let's just say the guild is trying to help out immediately, trying to, like, help them recover, but unfortunately they're gonna have PTSD for the rest of their freaking lives. So, as for saving Lily, when they came back, it's literally almost time for the war game. They already have, like, some people that are joining for the war game, including, well, well, deciding to just, like, leave the, um, Aphysis Familia, including Takemichizuchi's, well, Mikoto, which she decides to just leave that familia because she wants to join the Hestia familia, mostly because it's stronger, and, well, <laughs> yeah, it's basically overpowered as hell. Like, Bell is basically what you get if you make, like, if you mix, like, I don't know, Heracles from, like, Fate Stay Night with crack and steroids. I mean... He's already on steroids, but the one that makes him look like, you know, the type of steroids that will make you go crazy. Anyway, when they did get back to their um, makeshift base in, like, um, a tavern, well, 
Bell would give them, or more specifically, Null would give them symbiotes. Giving them enhanced abilities, like, enhanced abilities, I meant. So, they would basically get their own symbiotes, like, for example, like, Venom or things like that. So, yeah, that's basically what happened last episode. So, anyway, let's talk about what happens next. So, we move to a different perspective. The perspective of the, like, the Apollo Familia. Preparing the base for the war game. And let's just say, almost all of them are worried. Except for Hyacinthus. And for, you know, that kid. The one that was basically bullying Belle. But as for, um, what's her name? God dang it. As for Cassandra, she's kind of worried, but just ignores it for now. But for Daphne... Oh god, poor Daphne. She already knows the future. It's gonna be a slaughter. She's just like, why did we, why did we accept this? We're fricked. We're fricked. <laughs> like, instantly fricked. She's just saying to herself, as, um, Cassandra would just say this. Alright, just shut up. Let's just start the war game. So, when everybody's ready, well, let's just say, um, Apollo's basically taunting... Um, you know, Hestia. But Hestia knows that they're gonna be fricked in all ways possible. So, wait for a second. So, when the battle commences, by the hand or the decree of, um, I think, I think his name was, um, um, Kronos, or was it, um, let me just check. Um, his name was Uranos, yeah. Uranos would signal the war as it begins, as everybody would see, well, in the castle they would see the every single member of the Hestia Familia. But something weird is happening to them. They started getting consumed by these weird, almost tentacly cre like creatures that seem to be similar to slimes but less opaque. They would start getting consumed and they'd start turning into armor. As for Ryuku, she would turn invisible for some reason. As when everybody starts firing on them, tentacles would come out of them as they basically block all of the arrows. Bell would start charging in, creating a blast of pure black fire and red electricity, destroying some of them. Some of them would start saying, RUN! As some of them would start escaping, trying to get away from this. But as for Lily, let's just say the guy that was bullying, well, Belle, or specifically their goddess, well, let's just say he gets just desserts. As in just desserts, I mean he's literally crucified, naked, and probably beaten to death. Not really beaten, more like nearly to death, to the point that he literally has PTSD now. <laughs> Wait for a second. So, as for wealth, something happens, he would start laying down as literal weapons would come out of him. Knives, spears, and many other weapons would come out. As for, for well, Makoto, Makoto's, well, she seems to be not normal as well. She seems to have, oh, I don't know, six arms for some reason, as she's wielding all of the weapons that, well, wealth created from his back. They started causing massive amount of damage. As for Bell, he would create a hole as in the wall specifically of the, you know, in the base of, or at least like the castle of the Apollo Familia, as everybody's just like scared, as Bell would just say this. Suffer. Suffer for your sins! As they would start getting burned alive, everybody would see all of the burning bodies. Apollo would just say this. What the hell? As, well, let's just say Hestia's basically just like laughing in the corner. Everybody's just like terrified of them, seeing their own familiar members turning into these, as one of them would say this. What the hell are those things? And what is, what is that armor? 
as for, well, what's her name? Hephaestus would know that armor pretty easily first glance, as she would say this. That's the same armor that Bell is using. So that means, as they would all realize, Null is the god of symbiotes. So that means he's able to create his own. But at least this time, they won't rebel against him. So, the rest of the familiar members of the um, Apollo Familia are being slaughtered as... Well, Hyacinthus would come out as he would say this. FACE ME! As he would say this, being Bell. Oh, really? How about your dead men, then? All of his men were basically slaughtered. Some of them have their limbs torn off. Some of them getting impaled, but never dying. They would feel so much pain, asking for help. Hyacinthus is so terrified, as Bell would say this. For daring to step out of the line. For daring to hurt my goddess. You're gonna pay. As he would charge forward. As Hyacinthus would try to dodge the attack by blocking it with his sword. His sword would be slashed in half. Everybody would be shocked because that sword was supposed to be high quality. The rest of the um members of many other familiars including some like... Civilians watching this, including the Loki family, are amazed seeing Bell doing this, but they're scared seeing all of the bodies that he's making in his wake. As for the rest of the other familiar members in the um, Hestia familia, let's just say Welp is basically torturing one of them, which was kind of facing him off. Let's just say, during that time in like, um, during that, um, you know, that siege in their, like, old, like, their old base. Well, one of them is basically telling him to try and make better weapons. And let's just say that person is now a vegetable. And not even joking. <laughs> so, many hours later, as they're still fighting being Hyacinthus and Bell, but Bell is not exhausted, as Bell would say this. What a joke. The captain of the Apollo Familia, but they're fighting like a dog. As you would jump forward and kick him right in the chest. As he would start whimpering, saying, How? How are you be- As he would rip off one of his arms. As he would start screaming for help, saying, Apollo, help me! As Apollo would just be terrified. As Apollo would say this, Right- as Randos would say this. Sorry, but I won't let you do that. As he would say this. Wait, what? As he would say this. This is violating against the rules. So, I'll let Bell have this. After all, you did try and hurt this sweet little goddess over there. As she would... And that he would look over and see... Well, Hestia basically... Um, smiling in the corner, but not the sadistic smile, more like the happy smile. As she would start looking over at Apollo's face, as she would give a maniacal ass grin, just like in the anime, Apollo would just be horrified. The rest of the like the rest of the gods are super scared, but two of them were super interested. Being, well, wait for a second. Being Freya, and. Um, god dang it, what's his name? Hermes, yeah, Hermes. They're basically just watching in excitement. As she can literally, like, she's literally at the verge of like, I'm not gonna say it because I'm probably gonna get demonetized. I mean, actually I'm probably already demonetized just because I'm saying all of these like curse words. <laughs> anyway, as for Apollo, he's basically proud at Bell. But mostly because he's really happy that, um... Apollo is getting his justice. So, when Hyacinthus doesn't get any help from his god, he would start crying, saying, Please, have mercy, please! As he would say this, Mercy. Mercy. Mercy for what? 
for trying to kill my familia, for trying to hurt me and my goddess, for hurting my friends, just because you're a little petty, just because of your pride, your hubris, as you'd grab him by the neck, as you'd start choking to death. Not really choking to death, more like, well, being choked. As you would say this, <laughs> your judgment is final. Time for death. As everybody hears that, they would say, wait, what? As everybody would just look at, well, Aranos, as Aranos would say this, I allow it. As when Apollo hears that, he was just saying, he just said to him this, you bastard, just let him live. As he would say this, no, it's your fault, Apollo. As for Hyacinthus, he would say this, what the hell are you? As Bell and Null would say this at the same time, we are Null. As he would stab him right in the head, like where the, um, you know, the forehead is. Everybody would see all the blood coming out of his head as he would um, move his sword upwards as it causes the head to basically burst like a flower. Every single familiar member there was horrified seeing their captain basically torn into that. So, as for Daphne and Cassandra, they, they are basically running as they bump into Belle. Belle would just look over and see them. Cassandra would wield up her weapon as she says this. Please don't hurt us. We, we didn't mean to. As Belle would say this. Fine. I'll just leave you be. But for now. Next time if your so-called familiar tries and hurts. And it tries to hurt mine. I will not hesitate to bury you six feet under the ground. As... All of them, or or at least the two of them, basically escape unharmed. As for the rest of them, well, let's just say they were turned into vegetables, PTSD, or crippled, or all of the above. So, the rest of the other guys, or the other members of this, well, familia, well, they would come out as well would say this. Alright, I done my business. As he seems to be covered in blood as they all turn back to normal. As for Lily, she's basically carrying the um, crucified body of that guy from earlier. Yeah, the one that's basically bullying, you know, Belle. The guy is literally crying. Like, vis like he's literally crying. Everybody can literally, like, clearly see his scars. Including, well... His hands and feet are basically, like, bleeding, thanks to nails. As she would say this, Now, you scum, you go back into the garbage. As she would yeet him out into the open field, as he would, would like, just imagine a bouncy ball, that's basically what's happening to him. <laughs> so, the winner was... Well, wait for a second. Unfortunately, the the winner of this war game is the Hestia Familia. Apollo is horrified as every single god just looks over and say this. Alright, time for your end of the deal. As Apollo would say this. Wait, wait, um, we can talk over this. Um, we can, um, I don't know, maybe we can... As Hestia would say this. Sorry, but you did say that... If you lose, I can do whatever the hell I want with you, so... I want you to never come back to the human world ever again. And not only that, give me your mansion and every single, um... Wait for a second. Every single, um, you know, valus that you had. Every single one. And disband your familia once and for all. As, let's just say, um, when he hears that... He is basically screaming for help as for, well, wait for a second. Oranos, Oranos would, well, agree with that as, let's just say, um, well, that video is basically gone. 
I mean, it's already gone from the start after, you know, Bell basically just, like, came into the picture. So, yeah. Say goodbye to the Apollo Familia because it's basically all dead. <laughs> anyway. So, because of this, the Apollo Familia was disbanded. As every single member was brought to the hospital because now they're basically crippled or damaged beyond repair, mentally and physically, and many other things like that. And as for Hyacinthus, well, let's just say his grave is basically just like made from trash because nobody ever liked them. So, because now Apollo is basically gone and they get all of his property, well, they now have a brand new home in his old mansion. After that, they decide to go in to try and look over the place as they decide to try and renovate the place because there's too many Apollo related things there, including his entire like room dedicated to him, which are filled with statues of him basically in his glory. And Bell, when seeing this, he will just destroy them and basically just like sell all the scraps to like, I don't know, like um, a junkyard or something like that. <laughs> so they were told, or at least um, Bell would um, tell like a, um, a carpenter or something like that. Or, I can't remember his name, the god of, like, um, like, architecture? I can't remember his name, but he would, like, um, gladly help them try and renovate this mansion to their, well, new, like, um, familiar home. So, because they're, like, um, you know, their old home being, like, the broken down church is basically gone, this is going to be their brand new home, as everybody is basically excited. So, after getting that like, mansion renovated, they're basically pretty happy as they would start thinking of a familiar crest, as Belle would think of this. So, how about this, Hestia? As Hestia would say this, um, what is it, Belle? How about this for our crest? As he would make a picture or a drawing of a bell that's in flames, as she would say this. I love it. As every single like um like new member of the um of the Hestia Familia would agree. So now the Hestia Familia is now officially made. So yeah. This is actually gonna be the end of this episode, which is surprising because I've been waiting for so long for this like um episode that I kind of, um, you know, overdid it. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of this episode. And so, I hope you liked the video. Comment and, I meant comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!